Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and this is indeed an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti monster graphics card, and we, meaning you and me, are going to unbox it, and maybe a few other unmentionable things. Next. Okay, so I have to be honest, um, I'm not quite sure of the allure of an unboxing, but people seem to go nuts for this. So sure, why not? Let's just uh, jump on that bandwagon and unleash the beast here. First, we'll score the tape on the edge of the box very carefully, because we want to do this with surgical precision, of course. Okay. Our tape is scored with our trusty Leatherman and theoretically inside is a graphics card of epic proportions, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. There it is, boys and girls, in its anti-static bag. We'll leave it there for a moment and look here at the included lit pack NVIDIA logo chrome and flat black. Welcome to GeForce GTX Gaming. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the welcome, NVIDIA. Special edition premium badge. This looks like your new GeForce GTX powered hardware comes with some unique gamer swag. Don't affix it to your notebook or desktop's internals, your sibling's hair, or your pet. That's what it says here. I, I kid you not. Uh, so, sound advice, I guess, yeah. That's a nice uh, ample size case badge. We will uh, have to take a look at that later. NVIDIA GeForce GTX case badge. Stick once, stick wisely. So in other words, you know, you got one shot at this and uh, you wanna pick the right spot. Apparently not your sibling's hair or your pet. That's definitely wise advice. GeForce Experience, game ready drivers for each major title. Optimize game settings tailored for your PC, capture and share video, screenshots, and broadcasts. That's GeForce Experience. Yes, those are all features of NVIDIA's GeForce Experience software, absolutely. And here is the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Quick Start Guide, which is rather detailed for a Quick Start Guide. Interesting. Um, Looks like they step through everything here from actually making room for it in your PC, opening up a couple slots. This is a dual slot graphics card, consumes two slots in your, your PC and uh, a six pin and eight pin PCI Express power connector on the card. And they show mounting it on a motherboard mounting it in SLI with a high-speed SLI bridge. Oh boy, a pair of these in SLI? Talk about polygon crushing. And uh, we will step through the rest of the physical characteristics of the card shortly, but they even go through that in here. Um, pretty good stuff, lots of detail. A very ample quick start guide, not so quick, I would say. So good stuff, that's the literature pack. Why don't we dig into the card itself next? It says here, bring in a little tighter. Inspired by gamers, built by NVIDIA. This is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, right from the factory. All right, so let's get a closer look at what is inside the box here. As you can see, obviously, the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is here, no question about that. And it's anti-static bag, nestled in, tightly wedged in, I might add, to some assumingly anti-static, very high-density foam padding inside this sucker, not going anywhere, and protected around all corners, all sides and edges by that foam. So, very well packed. And, um, but wait, there's more, there's this, what looks like, yes, a uh, rectangular cardboard box nestled in uh, its own little padded area here in the back. And let's see what's in this. Looks like we're gonna have to go 
and the side door to get in. Let's open this up, see what's inside of this guy. Okay, well, looks like we got a little bit of cabling here. So let's take off the end caps and we will bring you in tight on this. This is your basic display port to female dual link DVI conversion cable. So what this does is takes one of the display port connections from the back of the card and adapts it to dual link DVI, converts it to dual link DVI output so that you can connect it to your monitor if you don't have display port on board. So if you don't have a display port capable monitor, NVIDIA hooks you up with the conversion cable necessary to connect to dual link DVI. So there you go. That is what else is included with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Let's put our end caps back on and uh, focus back on baby here. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Unwedging the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti from its high density foam insert. And we will go ahead and break the seal of the anti-static bag. That is a uh, adhesive seal with a little attention. Observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. That's also sound advice. I am grounded. I have actually uh, grounded myself out against the metal table. I've also got a ground strap, which you can't see right now. And um, it's coming out of this bag pretty tough. And there it is. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. And let's go ahead and remove the uh, protective plastic coating from the heat sink window. That is a plastic heat sink window, polycarbonate window that's um, at least let you look at the inside heat sink inside the fan shroud here. Typical uh, turbine squirrel cage fan in the back. Beautiful design. GeForce GTX 1080 Ti logo right there on the front top side. Eight pins, uh, PCI Express power connector, six pin PCI Express power connector. So one of each is required. SLI connectors on the top. Yes, you can gang two of these together in SLI. My gosh, that would, that would be a beautiful thing. Looking on the back side, we have the back plate. It appears to be an aluminum back plate. And of course, NVIDIA logo and GeForce GTX 1080 Ti in the flesh here. A little bit about this card. We want to keep her clean. We're getting some uh, dust bunnies here from the unboxing. A little bit about this card. Number of cores, 3,584 CUDA cores, exactly like a Titan X. 1600 megahertz boost clock with overclocking capability. NVIDIA says up to two gigahertz. Boost clock on a Titan X is 1530 megahertz. So it's actually a little bit faster for standard boost clock. 11 gigabytes of memory. A cluster of eight ROPs or render output units are disabled in the 1080 Ti connecting to memory. And as a result, the memory interface is slightly narrower at 352 bits versus 384 bits for the Titan X. However, NVIDIA employed a new micron memory at 11,000 megahertz or 11 gigabits per second data rate that has better equalization and jitter characteristics, allowing it to hit higher speeds with better signal integrity. So the 1080 Ti has slightly higher memory bandwidth at 484 gigabytes per second versus 480 in the Titan X. So faster core clocks, more memory bandwidth, this thing Theoretically, we were all thinking at the NVIDIA Editor's Day, theoretically should be faster than a Titan X. And in fact, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong absolutely confirmed that this is faster than a Titan X. Retails for $699, Titan X goes for $1,200. So a huge price concession by NVIDIA for a faster than Titan X graphics card. 
and uh, just really impressive stuff. 12 billion transistors on board, 16 nanometer FinFET technology builds this puppy, 11 point floor T-flops of performance, peak compute performance versus 11 in the Titan X. So slightly faster than a Titan X in terms of peak compute throughput, 11.4 T-flops. That's teraflops of compute power. Now then, there's only so much I can show you today because we are still under embargo technically, but we are gonna power this bad boy up. First, let's take a look at the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti versus, yes, the Titan X. As you can see here, the Titan X on the top, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti on the bottom. Very similar designs, same card length. Fan shrouds are very similar as well, except the Titan X is all blacked out. The 1080 Ti has a chrome and black color scheme. The fans are similar, but it looks like maybe the 1080 Ti has a little bit different fan blade spacing. It looks like about the same size, maybe a little bit larger on the 1080 Ti. Uh, physically though, very similar. As you can see, six and eight pin power connectors on the top, PCI Express power connectors, same SLI connector configuration on the top obviously as well. And the outputs though, that's where we see the biggest difference. Here again, we've got the Titan X, three display ports, HDMI and Dualink DVI, where the 1080 Ti only has three display ports and that HDMI output, which is why Nvidia gives you that conversion cable to convert one of the display port outputs to Dualink DVI. However, what you're not seeing quite so well here is the new 1080 Ti's thermal solution and seven stage dual FET power array that reportedly offers much better cooling and much lower noise output versus a standard GeForce GTX 1080. All right, before we drop the 1080 Ti into this motherboard here and fire it up, let's talk about the motherboard from our friends at EVGA. This is the EVGA X99 FTWK for the win. K standing for Killer Networking E2400 Gaming. Nick, that is on board this motherboard. Really nice X99 platform all blacked out here and some of the heatsink assemblies. Really nice chunky heatsink assembly on the MOSFET array here. Corsair self-contained liquid cooler. Underneath that block is an Intel Core i7-5960X uh, processor. So lots of firepower here. Some very standard um, DDR4 memory, uh, 2133 megahertz micron DDR4 memory. So nothing, nothing fancy here, but really nice motherboard with a really powerful CPU underneath. All the latest I.O. connectivity on this motherboard as well, USB-C here, and a happy home for sure for the 1080 Ti. Very standard issue, Intel SSD 730 SATA SSD will definitely get the job done. Plenty of firepower here to house the 1080 Ti. Let's go ahead and drop it in the slot right now. Right into that number one PCI Express by 16 graphics slot, peg slot. And let's go ahead and plug in our PCI Express power connectors right up top here. And we are good to go. We'll plug in the DisplayPort cable for our 4K panel and fire this bad boy up. And we are powered up and running now. Driving a little bit of Gears 4. It's about all I can show you on that right now. But let's get the trusty lapel mic out here and give you a sense of what the acoustics sound like for the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. I'm gonna unclip and move you right in. You picking up on that? Neither am I. Actually, not a whole heck of a lot of noise output from such a powerful graphics card at all. Actually, very quiet. Under some load. Admittedly, just the splash screen of Gears 4. And right now, this is about all we can show you because we are under NDA and performance metrics are not to be disclosed until a later date, which, unfortunately, I can't even tell you that. We'll let Lara play you out here with little Rise of the Tomb Raider action and 
Unfortunately, that's about all we can show you. Just a little unboxing tease and a little gameplay with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review. We will have all the details there. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you really liked it. We'd appreciate that very much. Thanks for stopping by.